for this experiment we require a drawing board a white sheet of paper the glass slab and some pins apart from this we would also need a scale for drawing the rays properly now before we place the rectangular glass slab on this sheet for further carrying out the experiment first of all we need to fix this sheet on this drawing board with the help of the pins so first of all let's do it so now that we have fixed this drawing sheet let us place the glass slab in the center and with the help of a pencil we are going to mark its outline once we have marked the outline then as you can see we have marked the outline now arbitrarily we would be choosing an angle of incidence and mark the incident ray and then we will once again place the glass slab in its position so as you can see i have marked the incident ray and placed two pins which would be working as the object these two pins would be used as the object i have also drawn the normal and as you can see i am marking the angle of incidence that is the angle formed between the incident ray and the normal so now i will place the glass slab on this outline because we need to observe the two pins as i told you these are the objects from the other side of the glass slab so a close look into the object and now we shall gradually observe these two pins from the other side so as you can see that we can see these two pins from the other side of the glass slab a close look yes now it's clear so you can see the two pins very clearly and now these two pins have been marked in the same line as the object pins so the four pins the two image pins and the two pins that i have marked later these two are lying on the same straight line so once we have done with this part now we have to draw the emergent ray we can mark the position of these two pins and from the glass slab we can draw the emergent ray as you can see and i have also joined the incident ray with the emergent rays so as to get the refracted ray and the dotted lines show the original path so now there is a separation as you can see if i remove the glass slab it will become much more clear you can see there is a separation between the original path of the incident ray and now the path taken let us mark the angles this is angle of incidence i this is angle of refraction r and this is the angle of incidence e let us remove the two pins as we have already marked their positions so we can remove the pins from their positions so now um, this is the normal as you can see and from here i am drawing a perpendicular so as to show the lateral displacement the perpendicular shift of the emergent ray from the original path of the incident ray we are marking it with the d now let us mark the arrowheads to show the rays we need to always mark the rays with arrowheads so let us name the rectangular glass slab the face of the rectangular glass slab as abcd so i am just labeling the diagram so this is how the entire diagram is going to look like once we have traced the path of the ray of light yes so this is the complete diagram so i am once again placing the glass slab and now 
you can see how the beam is traveling or the ray of light is traveling so this as you have already studied in the theory part also now practically we have conducted this experiment and seen how actually we can figure out the incident ray, the refracted ray, the emergent ray, lateral displacement, 